Hey guys, if you're new to our channel, my name's Ashley. Today's Thursday and we're gonna be in the kitchen. I'm gonna clean out the refrigerator and the freezer and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. So let's see what we can get done. So I'm gonna start by adding Mrs. Meyer's pumpkin scent into the sink with some water. So I'm getting the soapy water in the sink ready so that way when I take out all the compartments in the refrigerator I can wipe them down and clean them off really good. Okay so here's the before of the refrigerator. Here's the freezer. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking everything out of the refrigerator and wiping it down, giving it a good clean. I'm going to look at the expiration dates on all the items, and if anything needs to be tossed, I'm going to throw it away. And then after that, I'm going to make a list of items that we need because I need to do a grocery haul soon. So the top part of the refrigerator is completely empty now. I already took a few compartments out and I'm going to wash those and then once those get clean I'm going to take out the other compartments and wash them. So I'm starting with these three first, one's already in the water. And then this is everything that I took out of the refrigerator, well the top part of the refrigerator. And I'm going to go through all that stuff and see what I need to toss and what I can keep. sauces from like fast food restaurants at their house. We do because my kids love using them when I make chicken nuggets or in case they forget to put the sauces in, it's good to have at the house. Or when I'm packing the kids lunches, sometimes they take them. Um, there's been times where we've ate at the ballpark where I've packed dinner and I've used them for that. So we like keeping them at our house. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to now wipe down the top part of the refrigerator really quick. Okay, so I'm going to wipe down the inside of the refrigerator now and I'm going to use the Mrs. Meyer pumpkin scent um, multi-surface spray to do that and to give it a good clean.
the fun part. I'm going to go through all of this and I'm going to look at the expiration dates and put aside the stuff that I need to get rid of and then I'm going to get rid of the leftovers and then after I do all that I'm going to put it all back in the refrigerator and make a list of items that we need to purchase at the grocery store. So I think what I'm going to actually do is get the stuff off the counters that I'm going to put back in the refrigerator that we're going to keep. That way it gives me more counter space to have the items that we're going to get rid of to the side. Or to put to the side. You guys know what I mean. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more space now on the counters to go through all this stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is just place the items that I'm going to keep over here and then once I go through everything, I will add the rest to the refrigerator. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding everything back in the refrigerator and organizing it and seeing if there's any containers that I want to purchase to organize it more and everything like that. I'm actually going to take this component out and bring it over here and put all of the um, dips and stuff that we got from the restaurants back in here and then I'll put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so I took everything out of this section of the refrigerator and I'm going to give it a good wipe down and then I'll put everything back in it. I did get them for the kids this morning because tomorrow morning we're going to have to rush out um, of the house to get to school because of a, something that's going on that I'm involved in at the school with PTA. So I figured a quick and easy lunch to get us off the house on time is what we needed for tomorrow.
so now that I have wiped down the freezer and it's all clean, I'm going to put everything back in it and reorganize it. Okay, so this is the end result now that everything is cleaned and I've went through everything and reorganized a few places. This shelf is usually where we store leftovers, so that's why it's empty. It looks a little bare in some places. We mainly just need to get stuff for the kids' lunches and then a few other odds and ends. But this is the stuff that I took out of the refrigerator and I didn't put it back in. This is all gonna go in the garage refrigerator. It's just water. These my daughter will use today for dance. That I'm gonna throw away. That stuff needs to be thrown away. And then there's leftovers that was cleaned out. And then this is other stuff that needed to come out. Um, like an empty tub of ice cream that my daughter decided to put back in the refrigerator. I don't know our freezer I don't know why That um, there was only two more left in it So I just took those out and put it in the freezer This was a substitute item when we did um, an online grocery haul at Walmart They gave it to us as a substitute and no one liked it. So I'm gonna get rid of that And then that is about it and yes That's the thing of salsa and it needs to be thrown away and yes it was just sitting in our refrigerator so but that's it all right guys i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and cleaning the refrigerator and the freezer with me i hope it gives you some motivation to clean out your refrigerator or something else at your house today um please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below i love getting to know you guys and thank you for joining our family um, if you're new to our channel Thanks again, and um, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.